Hi ho, this is Nelda in another edition of Art Appreciation. So I have another piece of work for you today. And this one is inspired by the message of uh, the Prime Minister of Singapore, Mr. Lee Sien Lung, when he gave his national, national address during the phase one reopening of Singapore after two months of lockdown in response to COVID-19. So he stated in his address that despite immense challenges, he stated, do not fear and do not lose heart. So I, I really was taken by that statement and it reminded me of one of my favorite characters that's Yoda from Star Wars. And Yoda said, fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering. So what does that mean? It means that if you indulge in fear, then fear will hold you back from whatever you want to achieve because fear leads to mental paralysis right and and eventually to emotional turmoil as well so your first reaction to fear would be to panic okay and uh, we are all vulnerable to panic we feel anxious and then it leads us to to an irrational thought process um, such as the excessive buying of toilet paper and you know god forbid maybe even far more worse things I will not describe, okay? So we hope we do not get there. So yeah, you know, um, before I discuss more about fear and how I over overcome fear, I want to talk about one of my characters, Yoda, whom I revere very, very much, okay? I love Star Wars. Um, I grew up on Star Wars and uh, I joined Kendo, which is, the, the, which is a, you know, the Japanese art of sword fighting is a samurai art. I joined kendo and i quit kendo because i realized that i'm not strong enough to be a jedi okay so um it's another level of human skills and and capabilities so i'm not there okay so i quit kendo but anyway i'm happy and uh, i love i continue to love star wars and if you are familiar if you're a fan of star wars you can easily see that this the background of this drawing is a snowscape uh from the empire strikes back theme Okay, so I think it's the Battle of Hoth. Okay, that's when uh, they first introduced the AT-80 Walker, which is this small little guy over here. Now you see that I've got um, two machines from the Empire Strikes Back in this drawing. In the actual final artwork, you will not have these two machines, but you'll just see the snowscape of the Empire Strikes Back, which is inspired by Empire Strikes Back. It's not really taken from Empire Strikes Back for licensing reasons, right? So just for this video, I've added in this two machinery from Star Wars. So you see, this is the AT-80 Walker, which is the all-terrain armored transport, um, you know, the four-legged machine, which is so majestic and magnificent and, you know, with fantastic firepower. First introduced, I was awed by it in the Empire Strikes Back, really, really awed by it. And then, of course, you've got the flying machine, the Millennium Falcon, um, the owner of the Millennium Falcon is, uh, is Han Solo, one of my favorite characters from Star Wars as well. He's really cute. Okay, so um, um, I, I've been, I was inspired by that. And then the wording, fear you do not, is in the grammatical arrangement of Yoda. Okay, that's how Yoda speaks. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the English, uh, you know, structure of it all, right? So, but anyway, he says things like that, fear you do not. Um, eat you will you know something like that okay so um, yeah so if you if you observe carefully the, the 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 text right have been stylized in the in the, in the style in the in the look of the lightsaber okay so you've got this neon glow all over the words all right so yeah we I did that by hand okay I did that myself with my hand okay so, of course, the text, uh, you can use any text uh, formatting um, uh, creator, right? And then, um, but the neon, it, I don't think that you can find any fonts in, with neon light glow around it. So, I have to artistically draw that in. So, um, I hope you can see the glow, right? The neon glow. Um, okay, the red fear, of course you know, represents the dark side. So the, the red glow is the lightsaber that Darth Vader uses. Okay, so the Empire people, they use the, the red lightsaber. And then the blue and the green lightsabers are normally used by the Jedi people, okay? 
by the rebels, okay, by the Jedi's who are on the side of the rebels, okay, right? So if I can remember correctly, all right, okay. So anyway, so fear you do not is inspired by the message of Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung of Singapore. And, um, you know, it, I have turned it into uh, an artwork that you can hang on the wall and be inspired by, you know, something like this, okay. So, okay, back to, back to the question of fear. So I'm babbling away. Uh, back to the question of fear. How do you feel when you feel fear? How do you feel when you feel fear, right? You feel this, this panic attack, you feel a sense of anxiety and you feel this, you feel a bit of, you know, woozy and dizzy and you, you feel this heart palpitations, short of breath. And uh, I don't know, some of you may, may, may have this tingling and chest pain sensation, which is really, really bad. Okay, so fear is, and panic attacks really bad for your heart. Okay, so, but you know what? Human beings are, we're cognitive, uh, you know, creatures, right? Uh, human beings, us. Okay, so we respond to the environment. So when we fear, when we are encountering panic attacks, it means that we have already envisioned the worst situation. We are actually picturing it in our heads. And what's worse is that we're picturing the worst situation. We are visualizing, you know, bad scenarios and we cannot accept it. So that's how, steer, how fear arises, okay? So uh, I'm not saying that, uh, yeah, of course we can't accept. It's difficult to accept. And I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, so I'm not asking you to accept fear, okay? Um, because we are all susceptible to anxiety and we fall into that, you know, we spiral into fear and anxiety. But, you know, this is what I do because I hate that, that, that panic feeling. And I think that I don't like to be paralyzed because I'm such a go-getter. I want to get things done and going. And yes, I feel fearful, you know, from the repercussions of COVID-19. I think I'm affected by it as well. Business is affected by it as well. But, um, you know, um, I've been a practitioner of mindfulness, which is to be present. And that has helped a lot. Okay. So, um, yes, we visualize bad things and the worst things that can happen. But if you bring yourself back to the present time now to look at your four walls and the, the things around you, and the people around you, and you actually realize that bad things actually haven't happened yet. OK, you're not in a bad situation. So by thinking about bad situations, in a way, you are trying to bring the bad situation into your life. So the best thing to do is not to think about it. So to be mindful and to be present is uh, something that you know works for me okay so um so because i'm in the present and the bad things hasn't really happened so it's all in my imagination even though it might be a reality right but still at this present moment they're all in my imagination i am um fabricating that in my mind right so the, the things that i'm not in my present i've got my two hands i've got my brain i've got my mind right the question is what can i do now to prevent that worst thing from happening at all right so um, but what I need to do is to accept that to prevent something bad from happening to, to, to prevent you know my situation from spiraling into a worse scenario into a worst case then I have to accept that uh, there, there's going to be some degree of change that I have to make so changes are at hand okay so uh, when you make changes, of course, you know, you enter into another layer of fear generating situation. You're entering again into the unknown. What if I make changes? What if things don't work? You know, what is change? What is what is different? And wow, you know, that, that is, you, you feel afraid. I feel afraid as well. OK, and change, I have to tell you, is very, very uncomfortable, uncomfortable. But change, you know, is inevitable and change that I have to make. So what rules do I set for myself to survive? Uh, to overcome fear and to survive the situation of change. And that is, I make a list of what needs to be done. And I'm mindfully present when I do them, when I take action, okay, to, to conduct this task that I have listed down, my strategy. Okay, so I have the objectives in mind because I cannot lay out, a, lay out a process or list of things to do without having a goal in mind. But I'm not exactly too hard up with the results. Right, I don't take things too hard, and I don't take, I don't, um, I'm not too hard on myself, okay, in a way, okay. So I give, I, I chill, right, or I force myself to chill, <laughs> okay. So, but I'm aware, but even though I'm not too, um, you know, too uh, obsessive about the results with the goals in mind, 
but I keep myself aware of any obvious signals which um, well obviously these signals tell me that I need to detour or I, or I need to stop and think again or I'm not going to the right into the right direction right so I have to make more changes so being mindful uh, you know taking action being aware of your goals uh, not to be too obsessive about the results but to be also be conscious of the, the obvious signals that is that are trying to direct you to the right direction right because maybe you, you're not doing the right things because you know it's uncertain and we don't we, we can never know whether we're doing things uh, the right way or whether we're in the right direction right so sometimes we need the universe to tell us to, to, to give us that guiding hand and we must allow it and submit to it to um, to show us what could be you know the best course of action that we should take right okay so well um, I hope it will work for you as it works for me so um, for me the way to sum this up the way to overcome fear is to look it in the eye and say bring it on